This is the monastery of Santa Maria de Ripoll, and it also is the start of the greenways. There are lots of greenways in Catalonia. They run from here in Ripoll down to the sea, and we're going to be doing some of them in the next few days. The first one follows the iron and coal route. Um, it was very important for industry, and it's about a 12 kilometer, very easy ride to kick us off. We've just bought some lovely bread and cheese for a trailside picnic and now we're leaving the market and the city to head on to the Greenway. This route to Del Ferro is an old railway track and that makes it really flat and it's also been resurfaced so it's very easy riding for us all. And there's lots of little playgrounds along the way like this and little tunnels to explore Ooh. Is it scary? No, not really Just a lot of puddles Hey! What am I meant to do? Ooh, ooh. It's traffic free so I can just let the kids go off and cycle on their own without waiting for them and bothering about cars. It's so peaceful and relaxing. Of course it hasn't always been this peaceful. About a hundred years ago trains shuttled iron and coal up and down this track to and from the mines at Ogasa. It's a great little ride through history. And this section between Ripple and St. Juan was still a railway up until 1980. I'm hungry. Any of you guys fancy an ice cream? Catalonia seems to have invested quite a lot of money into these interpretation panels which tell the secrets of the Pyrenees. Um, the last few have been about the geological formation. This one is about how the Pyrenees formed over the 250 million years they've been around. Quite nice, a little bit of information, a little bit of poetry or literature in there as well, and all translated into English, French, etc. You don't really need a map, and you don't really need to be able to navigate. The path's quite obvious, and it goes through some beautiful changing landscapes. We've done our first 10Ks. Um, we're approaching a town called St. Joan. You can predict a lot, but you can't predict the weather here, so bring a coat. I think it's about to get a little bit wet. That bridge is a gothic masterpiece. It's really impressive. But it's quite bumpy to ride over. St. Joan is such a pretty place. Well worth the diversion. So this is the historic centre of St. Joan d'Abadessas. There's a monastery, there's a museum, there's lots to do here. Um, the trail now then continues up to the mines, but we're going to halt here and then pick up the next trail, which will take us down to a lot. We will sleep well tonight. These Vies Verdes are a great way to experience Catalonia.